huge public timeline. So how would you search them? You can search them if you know on Twitter. But you could also, if you put this into a tweet, then you can search by that. So it's, like, it's a way of making your tweets so they'll be in a sort of a table of contents, so they're searchable. So whenever your group or your organization or if you're advising your group, whenever you set up an event, you should have a Twitter hashtag. And it's nice, like if you have an annual dinner, you can you know append like the year to it so you'll know. And then you can go back and you can find out what people said specifically about that. And I used it here with some writers groups where they tweet, they told people to, to use that hashtag before the conference started and you kind of build up a sense of camaraderie, at least among the people that are into Twitter. Yeah, I think we're going to be ready. Um, thank you guys for coming. This is uh, Hands-On Tech Intervention, um, uh, Social Media 101. I'm an AmeriCorps VISTA member who's uh, part of Hands-On Tech along with Anthony and Michael Beck. And I want to introduce uh, Dr. Barbara Iverson, who's from Columbia College. Uh, she is part of, um, what is it, um, sorry. <laughs> well, I teach mobile journalism there, and I, okay. um, I'm in the journalism department, and I run chicagotalks.org, so it's a favor to me. You can all look at that later today. Um, it's a hyper-local news site for Chicago, and it's created by my students who go out and do traditional reporting, but also, if any of you are doing like community work, we're happy to have community people sign in, and they can submit stories, and we publish that as well. And then our aim is eventually to cover all 50 wards, but I would say we're, we're not there yet. But we're still trying. Yeah. So, now for their introduction, this is Dr. Ron. And as we go along, just so you know, I actually, you know, I, you, you look at me and say, oh, she must be like a digital immigrant. But in my own career, um, right as I was finishing graduate school, I was studying policies, policy studies and higher education policy is when the switch from old time computers to like new time computers was happening and the internet was, uh, you know, we were starting to use the internet, not the web yet. And so my, my whole technical career, instead of going into what I thought I would go into, was in this thing that didn't exist, working with the internet, with various teachers and with education. So it's possible to learn a lot of this without having gone to school, although now you, know, you can see there are special careers. 